What is going on fam? My name is Brendan Myers. This is the 30 for 30 series. Look, we're coming to an end, but it's going good. Let's get started. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, depression be calling. Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. All right, so today we have chest, triceps, and shoulders. It's going to be a killer workout, especially if you're doing everything correctly. Remember, technique is so, so important. And if you're eating right, you're drinking right, if you eat right, you feel right, you feel right, you look right, you look right, you do right, you dig, then you are going to build muscle. It's just the truth of the matter. All right, so before we jump in, I'm going to give you a few tips you could be following for this workout and let's get started. All right, quick tip number one. Your anterior delt is worked a lot in pushing movements, especially for bodyweight training. That's why it's so important for your scaps to be retracted and depressed to remove any unneeded stress. Number two, get a run in today. Let's shoot for two miles. The last 200 meters, I want you to sprint as hard as possible through the finish line. Number three, grab your low stim pre-workout from Create You. Link is in the description. It's naturally flavored and I take it every day when I train. Number four, a great source of fat is MCT oil. I take this with my protein shake after my workouts almost every day. Number five, if you are lacking electrolytes, you may feel weak or even tired. Make sure you have enough sodium and potassium in your diet. And six, and last, you should be resting at least once per week. Even if you feel like you can train another day, don't do it. The results are in the recovery. All right, here we go. We're starting off with 20 push-up pulsators into eight push-ups. All right, so the pulsators, we just want to make sure our hands are outside of shoulder width apart. We're coming all the way down. We're pausing. We're retracting the press on our scaps, so it's really, really locked in. And we're coming up and down as fast as we can, okay? From there, after you're done, you're just going to go into regular push-ups. As so. Nice and easy, make sure you're slow and controlled, and boom, that's your first superset. All right, so we have assisted handstand push-ups going into assisted handstand push-ups with a lean. Let me show you. So it's almost double the amount of movements, all right? So when you come down, the most important thing is, you guys know what assisted handstand push-ups are, as so, hands are gonna be pretty wide, all right? You're gonna tuck in your chin, assisted handstand push, or yeah, is, is just here, to the top of the head, all right? From there, you're gonna then turn your head up and go towards your Nose, all right? So it's top, top of head, back to nose, back to head, back to nose. And notice how I'm not going fully extended only after the one rep. So top of the head, boom, all the way up. Top of the head, boom, all the way up. All right, and that's gonna be your set, super set. You can call it whatever you would like, but it's pretty difficult. Putting on some socks to our hands. We're gonna do some pec flies with the floor, then we're gonna move into tricep extensions, time under tension. So, with these pec flies, you can go on your knees if you would like. I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. So, you're gonna be able to fully allow your body to drop down as your hands are going out and squeezing into the ground, allowing your chest to contract as much as possible, okay? So it's kind of like a pec fly in the gym. Now you wanna make sure that you're squeezing in your abs here, tightening in, retracting, depressing your scaps, because you want a big chest. You want as much work to be on those that chest as possible, right? So you're gonna be here, again, starting in a straight position, neutral position with your hands, and they're gonna slowly, externally rotate, boom, bend your elbows slightly, till you're all the way down here, tuck in your chin, and squeeze, up, palms, and then back to neutral here at the top, and then you're done. Then from there, I want you to go into a tricep extension from the ground, okay? But it's gonna be time under tension. So our elbows, hands, all straight, <clears throat> pushing away from the ground as much as possible. We're gonna come up at least four seconds each way. I like to do eight seconds each way, six to eight seconds, boom. Come right back down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Making sure you're pressing your thumbs into the ground as, as much as possible as well. Squeezing, pushing everything away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. Jeez, that's brutal. That's your superset. Okay, this superset, we have 45 second lean practice planche hold into a 20 second chest squeeze. So, lean practice planche hold. You can go on your knees if you're more beginner. More advanced 
is fine as well. You can get go on your on your feet. I'm gonna go on my feet here. I'm gonna have my hands a little bit further out, not too wide, just outside of shoulder width apart. Then our hands are gonna actually our, our shoulders are gonna actually rotate. Notice how this little point right here is pointing forward. Now open up your fingertips and squeeze into the ground as much as you can, almost like you're grabbing the ground. All right, from here you're going to just slowly look at my feet, start walking forward and pushing away as much as you can from the ground as you're leaning forward, pushing away, 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 squeezing your abs and squeezing your glutes in, in this position and holding in that position, okay? From there, we're gonna go into a chest squeeze. So the chest squeeze, hands, remember, here, right in front of your face, your elbows are gonna come high and you're gonna be squeezing as much as you can, big chest, squeezing as much as you can. <sighs> throughout the 20 seconds. Okay, we have assisted handstand push-ups going into pop-off push-ups. So the assisted handstand push-ups, I've already shown you guys this so many times throughout the 30 for 30 series. You're gonna be bending at your hips, you're flexing at your hips here, tucking in your chin, coming to the top of your head, and all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, okay? And then from there, we're gonna do pop-off push-ups. Now, this is something to, to watch very, very closely. So, as you come down, I'm gonna use my, my knees for this example. So, as you come down, you're gonna pause, you're gonna pop off, and it's about that last little bit of your elbow extension where you wanna be fast, okay? So, it's like a fast twitch movement here. Right here, pause, up here, and boom, explode. So, coming up here, boom, and explode. Coming up, slow, boom, and explode. All right, just make sure when you are extending that elbow, you're not hyper extending. You're not trying to explode all the way through where it's like, and you're trying to, oh, you don't want that. You want overextension of that elbow. Clearly, if you can overextend your elbow uh, during this movement, it's not gonna feel good. You might feel it, feel it in your joint. So just keep that in mind as you are exploding and that's your final superset. All right, so there you have it. That is your 30 for 30 workout for the day. Uh, chest, triceps, and shoulders. Now, if you wanna pick up any nutritional stuff, supplements, should you even take supplements? I do suggest specific ones. You don't want to take too much different types of things. Um, really, for me, I like vitamin D, vitamin B, I take a greens powder, I take a creatine HCL. Um, what else do I take? I take zinc, um, and I'm gonna be taking selenium as well here soon. And, and that's pretty much it. Collagen protein, I really, I really enjoy. Uh, I take some pre-workout. Uh, whether it's every day or every other day, I do like our low stem pre-workout from Create You. Link is always in the description, by the way. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like what I like to do. But if you're not eating right, it's not really gonna benefit you to a huge degree. I mean, creatine, yeah, it'll help you a lot. Um, but vitamin D, vitamin B, all these things. Also, if you're not going outside, it, <laughs> Now, all this artificial light all the time, it's not the best for you being on your computer all day, watching Netflix, on your phone. You know, even if you're doing homework, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not worth it um, if you're not gonna eat healthy, get the right sleep, drink right, go outside and all this stuff. So keep that in mind. You can build muscle body weight training, absolutely. I've been doing it for years. I've been teaching people for years. The Body Evo program, link is also in the description, uh, has, has transformed the lives of thousands and thousands of people. So many people have purchased that program and I'm super thankful for it. They've, they've really been able to grow. So um, yeah, that's kind of it for the day. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave some feedback down below in the comments. Also turn your post notifications on. Uh, I have a vlog series coming out very, very soon. Follow me on Instagram right here at the B Myers. I'm Brennan. This is the 30 for 30 series, and I'll see you next time. Peace.